Sami Dang. Um, I work in the Department of Horticulture. My mentor's name is Heather Sherwood, and this is my project, uh, Effect of Light Color on Plant Growth. So a little background, um, photosynthetically active wavelengths, visible light, so that's basically telling you the, um, the plant chlorophyll absorbs, as you can see, the, the red and blue light, and it does not absorb the green. So additive color mixing is when you mix two colors together, together and you get a more intense bright color. So for example, if you mix red and green, you get a yellow. But to the plant, it's basically a red because, again, they don't absorb green light, they reflect it. My hypothesis. OK. So when you add all the colors together, you get a, a white color, which would be by control. And if you mix in a blue and a red light, um, it will basically act the same way as a control. Again, it won't absorb the green. Uh, they reflect it, and that's why plants appear green. So my hypothesis is that the plants with the red and blue light will do better than all the other lights besides the control. Um, the wavelength of light is my independent variable and the plant growth is my dependent variable. The control in this experiment is the white light because it has every color available to the plant. So it's basically acting like the sun. So this is my procedure. So it's basically the setup. And as you can see, um, the red and blue light is elevated slightly higher than all the rest. And I'll explain why we did that. Some materials used are um, seven 100 watt light bulbs, 18 radishes, 18 pots, construction paper, timer, meter stick ruler, and beakers to help measure the water. So the procedure, I had to first set up uh, the site for the lights and plants. There are six lighted areas in the, in the areas that were three plants each. There was an opaque um, construction paper cover to put over the plants to keep out any other light besides the light that it's underneath. And the type of plants I'm growing are radishes because they're fast growing and fast germinating. Um, I first watered 100 milliliters of water every two days, but then I noticed that it was too much, so then I lowered to 50 milliliters every other day. And measurements were taken in centimeters, and those were made if anything happened to the plants. So this means water per centimeter squared, and that's basically saying um, the farther the area that the farther the area from the light source, the more it's going to spread out. So I had to plug in the equation back going back to this slide. I had to plug in the equation from the original distance of all these lights and figure out how much light I need to move these two guys up because it's basically 100, uh, 200 watts. So I needed to see it, um, to make it even with all the rest of um, how much output. So the temperature in the experiment was important because it could affect the plant growth. And vents were cut into some of the tubes to regulate the temperature. They were cut just below the pot so no other light can get through because light travels in angles. And uh, the results in day one, so I took the averages of the three plants in each group, and then you can see that the yellow light is doing pretty good. In day two, you can see that control crept up a little bit. The yellow light's still pretty, doing pretty good. The blue and red is like second best. In day five, um, the control just keeps getting up there. Yellow's still pretty good. Blue and red still pretty good. And this is a side by side comparison with the control. And you can see how healthy their plant is. And then the blue and red, and you can see a, a huge difference. In day 10, um, it just stopped growing. The control just kept going at it. The yellow did too, and the blue and red sort of, kind of. Day 15, you can you notice that the blue and the green just 
died out, they're totally dead. Um, control still hanging in there. And the yellow did, did pretty good, the blue red did pretty good. In conclusion, the control did the best, the yellow light did the second best. The blue and red lights did better than the rest, but not as well as the yellow or the control. Therefore, my hypothesis is not supported by this data. Another thing to take into consideration is if you can see in uh, this picture, the filter that was put over is basically a pane. So it some lights let out like more uh, brighter lights than others. So like you can see the yellow is really bright, and the green or blue, which is barely anything at all. So that's an error. Um, another thing is to like I would use more plants to get a better results, and. There's a lot of human error. I mean, I probably overwatered them and I probably like damaged them while measuring the plants. So I want to say thank you to everyone um, Ben Durham, Murphy Thomas, Shelly Bender, Heather Sherwood, my mentor, Maureen Ar Ar Ariano, and uh, Jasmine and Mary Salt for watering my plants. <laughs>